So now let's talk about hypoventilation. By the way, what exactly is ventilation? Ventilation is exchange of gases between the alveolus and the arteriole. So if there is less ventilation of, or if there is hypoventilation, then there is less air coming to the lungs. If there is hypoperfusion, then there is less blood going to the going to the capillaries that is going to the lungs. So in this case, there is hypoventilation, meaning that there is less air reaching the alveoli. So let's say the ventilation dropped by 50%. If the ventilation drops by 50%, then won't the percentage of carbon dioxide increase? Of course it will increase because now it's distributing the same space that it was before, only that the amount of carbon dioxide you released is the same. But compared to oxygen that we have, the amount of carbon dioxide is going to be increased. So the ratio, if the ratio of alveolar ventilation is 1 is to 1, and if there is a 50% drop in ventilation, then the, then the usual 40 millimeter mercury of carbon dioxide is going to turn into 80 millimeter, millimeter mercury. Did I make that clear to you? I'm going to repeat that one more time. So if the ratio of ventilation is 1 is to 1, which it should be in a normal per person with no pathology of the lung, if the ratio is 1 is to 1, then there's going to be equal ventilation uh, going on between the alveola and the capillaries. As a result, if the ratio drops by 50%, if the ventilation, if the ventilation drops by 50%, then the percentage of carbon dioxide in the alveola is going to increase. And it's going to go from 40 to 80. It's going to increase by 50% because the percentage or the amount of carbon dioxide that is occupying the same space with the with the oxygen is increasing by 50%. So if this is the situation for carbon dioxide, then the normal uh, oxygen, which was supposed to be 100, is going to be 60, obviously, because there is hypoventilation. And as a result, which is increasing the percentage of carbon dioxide, moving it from 40 to 80, due to 50% drop in ventilation. So now the reason this has become 100 to 60 is because there is a 40 millimeter mercury drop in carbon dioxide, which is going to be seen in the oxygen as well, because that is the amount of um, compensation. So our, that is the amount of ratio that they are uh, exchanging, right? If there is 40 of more carbon dioxide, there is going to be 40 less oxygen present in hypoventilation. Okay, so that is my first point. Secondly, in a hypoventilation state, the oxygen level in all the arter in all the vessels is going to decrease it's going to decrease in the pulmonary artery it's going to decrease in the pulmonary vein it's going to decrease in the capillaries it's going to decrease everywhere you might think that okay well the oxygen um, in the in the pulmonary artery might not decrease because it hasn't reached the lungs but you have to understand that this is a system right it's going around in circles so everything is going to be everything is going to be decreased in hypoventilation. So PO2 in the pulmonary artery is going to be less than 40, which was 40 before. The PO2 in the capillaries is going to be 60, which is going to equalize with the alveolus, provided that there is no diffusion impairment problem, meaning there is no problem with diffusion. Even though, even though less oxygen or less air is coming to the lungs, there is perfect exchange if, the, if there's perfect exchange then if there is 40 millimeter mercury of oxygen then there should be 40 millimeter mercury in the capillaries that that the alveolar is reaching right because less air is coming but that doesn't mean that there is less exchange so that's why this number and this number is going to equalize and again the same thing is going to happen provided there is that there is no other pathologies when this capillaries is going to reach systemic uh, circulation this is going to drop by 5 so that's why 60 is becoming 55 just like our normal state so that is our hypoventilation so before moving on another point I want to mention is that in if there is no diffusion impairment even in a hypoventilation state the AA gradient is going to be normal 
okay? Because there is no problem with diffusion. There is hypoventilation, less air is coming to the lungs. But there is no problem with exchange. So as a result, the AA is going to be normal in hypoventilation. So don't get confused that in hypoventilation, the AA gradient is not going to be normal. It's going to be increased or something. It's going to be normal. And how can you treat hypoventilation if the AA gradient is normal? You just increase ventilation. You treat hypoxemia with increased ventilation. You give them more oxygen and, and things are going to get better.